guide to cooking a perfect steak, hot pan. The secret here is to make sure that we literally sear the steak and not boil it. Season it first, beautifully done. Get some nice large grains of pepper, so you've got a nice bit of heat. Mop up all that seasoning and sort of push in. The foremost important part is to make sure you take them out of the fridge 20 minutes before you actually start cooking them. Touch of oil in, roll that round, and then just lay the steaks away, always away from you, and let the pan do the work. That's the kind of noise you want to hear in the pan every time, that nice sear. Again, pair of tongs, turn it over very carefully. Literally 30 seconds of the pan, you can see the colour. Beautiful. That layer of fat on the back of the sirloin, you want to render that down as well. Hit that into the pan. Use the pan to your advantage. Tilt the pan, let all that hot fat, olive oil run down the back, and it starts to sear the steak even better. You put a little bit of garlic in, that little flavour of the steaks. It doesn't need to be peeled, just lightly crush, and then that gives a really nice flavour to the steak. A little bit of thyme. It's really nice to get that nice fragrant. Of time. Much more. I quite like my steaks rare, so rare is here, opposite the palm, at the top. Medium is there, and well done is at the top of your wrist. And now I'm going to start off with my butter. Little knobs of butter. And this is where the steak starts to take on a completely different flavour. Tilt the pan, and then just baste the steaks. That fried thyme, that garlic. Nothing's burning, and that's why we started off with olive oil. Get the garlic and sort of brush the garlic over. Off with the gas, take them out, let them rest, and off. Delicious.